Hello friends, welcome back. It's May already, I can't believe it. Anyway, today's episode, it's, it's about a role that has been more or less phased out of Indian films in general, Bollywood for sure. And this is the role of the gangster's mall or the vamp. These days, the heroine is allowed to do cabarets and, you know, more progressive, right? So there's no need for this other woman, so to speak, in the storyline to contribute her bit. In the regressive past, the heroine was always considered to be this pure, you know, virginal, never doing anything that could be considered risque or immoral. And for all of those things, like any overt sexual expression, like a cabaret dance, for example, was always the purview of the vamp. This particular role, however, has left behind a fantastic array of songs for us. So yay! To start us off with, a vamp from the 40s, 1940s, Kulwant Kaur. She was born in Punjab and to a very wealthy landowning family. But at a very young age, 14, she was married off. And she was a mother by the age of 16. Even though this was sort of the norm, shall we say, at that time, she broke all conventions and entered films. She was, I think, the first female villain that Bollywood produced. She started off in Punjabi movies because she was born in Lahore. She lived there. Uh, this was pre-partition India. She was called the Punjabi Patakha or firecracker. And after partition, she moved back to Bombay. And she was a very close friend of Pran Saab. And there's a story that uh, when they left Lahore, it was during, you know, turbulent times. And Pran Saab was unable to take his very fancy car with him to Bombay. So she went alone all the way back to Lahore, picked up that car and drove it all the way to Bombay all by herself. So definitely a woman of great courage. She acted in a lot of movies, in a variety of roles as vamp. And she was a very polished vamp. You know, it was just a lift of an eyebrow or the curl of a lip to show her disdain. She did everything with great elan. And uh, she's left behind a very, very large body of work because she was very busy through the 40s and the 50s she passed away very sadly at a very young age in 1960 uh, due to tetanus. The song that I'd like to share today is from the movie Samadhi. It was released in 1950. The story was based on an incident that happened during India's freedom struggle. And see Ramchandra's music for this movie. Um, it has Nalini Jaiwant, Ashok Kumar in the main leads with Kulwant Kaur and Sham as parallel leads. This song, the initial tune is familiar to all of you. The song too is pretty familiar. The main, um, the chorus tune was basically lifted from a Hollywood song, Chico Chico from Puerto Rico. But the rest of the song was C. Ramchandra's original. The lyrics were by Rajendra Krishan. It was sung by Amir Bai Karnataki for Kulwant Kaur and Lata Mangeshkar for Nalini Jaiwant. Very entertaining song. O gore gore, o vanke chore, kabhi meri gali aya karo. Gore gore, o vanke chore, kabhi meri gali aya karo. Gore gore, o vanke chore, chahe roz bulaya karo. Gore gore, o baki chore, kabhi meri gali aya karo. Gore gore, o baki chore, chahe roz bulaya karo. Sadha chandni raat achhi nahi, 
किसी और को जलाया रो गोरी गोरी ओ बाकी चोरी चाहे रोज बुलाया करो गोरे गोरे ओ बाकी चोरे कभी मेरी गली आया करो गोरी गोरी ओ बाकी चोरी Farhat Ezekiel, or Nadira, as she was more popularly known, was of Jewish origin and she was from Baghdad, Iraq. Her parents moved to Bombay shortly after she was born. Maybe she was a toddler. And they divorced very soon after that. Her grandmother brought her up and her brother. She was a very pretty, talented young lady, danced well. And she soon caught the eye of Sardar Akhtar, who was the great Mehboob Khan's wife. She groomed Nadira, and Mehboob Khan cast her opposite Dilip Kumar in the 1952 film Aan, which was a remake of The Taming of the Shrew, Bollywood style. It was a super hit. She was very good in it. Sadly for her career, though, she ended up marrying lyricist Nakshab right after this movie was released. He made her break her contract with Mehboob Khan and tried to make his own movies with her in the lead, none of which worked well. He exploited her, basically, and she finally walked out on him, leaving behind her money, her home, everything. But at that point, it was too late for her, nobody would cast her as the lead in any movie other than B and C grade movies, which she didn't want to do. So she ended up acting as a vamp, and she was brilliant at it. Raj Kapoor was very fond of her and took her in a lot of his movies, beginning with Shri 420, and that I think has been her best vamp role. She went on through the 60s and the 70s, and then in, you know, as she grew older, she moved into character roles. In Julie, she was Julie's mother, and she actually won Best Supporting Actress Filmfare Award for that. She continued acting through the year 2000, and then finally in 2006, she passed away. The song I'd like to share is from Shri 420. She was so good as Maya, the vamp, who tries to seduce the very naive Raj Kapoor into leading a life of crime. And this song, Mur Mur Ke Na Dekh Mur Mur Ke, has been sung so beautifully by Asha Bhonsale and Manada for Raj Kapoor. It was written by Shailendra Ji and the music, of course, Shankar Jaikishan. Oh, 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 oh,
Shashikala Jawalkar was one of six children and was born in Solapur. Even as a child, she was very pretty, very talented, naturally drawn towards performing. When she was in her teens, her father suffered some financial mishaps and the whole family moved to Bombay in the hope of bettering his prospects. Since Shashikala was very lively and, you know, a naturally attractive personality, he decided he would try and have her act in films. Her first role in films was a very minor role in a Kavali in a movie called Zenith, which was made by the famous Noor Jahan's husband, Shaukat Hussain Rizvi. After that, she started getting more and more roles and she acted in a variety of roles, both positive and negative. She was very, very talented. She was even in V. Shantaram's Teen Bati Char Rasta, which, you know, helped uh, elevate her image, I guess, and she got more roles after that. Um, no matter what role she was in, she was extremely convincing. Be it positive roles like in Anupama and Sujata, or the very negative scheming Bhabi in Aarti, or the very jealous and suspicious wife in Haryali or Rasta, Shashikala was very, very convincing. She continued to act in films, actually continues to act is what I should say, she still acts. And she even has some cabarets to her name. The most famous one being, I think, from Phool or Pathar, is Shishe Se Pi Ya Paimane Se Pi. And uh, the song that I want to share today is also a cabaret, but it's a very unusual cabaret. The tune is very unusual, um, S.D. Burman. And this is for the 1957 film Nodo Gyara, which was a Navketan Productions. And the song is picturized on Helen and Shashikala. Shashikala is sort of the more um, quiet part of the song. She is dressed in this evening gown and she's holding a cigarette in this long, elegant cigarette holder and has this sort of inscrutable smile on her face as she sings. And Geeta Dath has voiced her part. And Helen has this very lively, jigging around, dancey kind of role, uh, which has been voiced by Asha Mosley. It's a very, very nice song. दिन रंगीला हो रेत चमके समुंदर नीला हो और आकाश गीला गीला हो चाहो खेत दिन रंगीला हो रेत चमके समुंदर नीला हो और आकाश गीला गीला हो
धड़कन होती हूँ दुनिया सोती हूँ तारों भरी खामोशी हो धड़कन होती हूँ फाइनली वी कम टू बिंदु नानू भाई देसाई the vamp who really enjoyed her villainy she came into films after she was married very much like kulwant kaur in 1960 she had this very minor role in ek phool char kaante and in 1962 she was given the role of a parallel lead in anpad she plays mala sinha's daughter the whole movie of course is focused on mala sinha but she actually you know did a very very good job in the movie Sadly though she didn't receive any lead offers she only received a lot of offers for minor roles which she you know continued to take on and very very creditably accredited herself 1969 brought two very good negative roles one in do raste and one in ittefaq after this she received a slew of negative roles which she did really beautifully and a whole bunch of cabarets she was also very unself conscious in front of the camera and one of her most famous ones from kati patan mera naam hai shabnam and uh, she also did a few sympathetic roles the most famous one and memorable one being the one in abhiman the one i want to share with you is from the film pran jaye par vachan na jaye she is seducing sunil dat in this song and uh, it's open airs music with sh bihari's lyrics asha bhonsle singing for her of course aake dard jawa hai she, she is very good aake dard jawa hai इशारा है प्यार ने पुकारा है रात का इशारा है प्यार ने पुकारा है बाहों में ले ले मुझे आके दर्द जवा है आके दर्द इशारा है प्यार ने पुकारा है बाहों में ले ले मुझे आके दर्द जुआ है आके दर्द जुआ है टुडेज मूवीज हैव मेड द रोल ऑफ द वैम्प एज सच रिडंडेंट व्हिच इज गुड but in a way i do miss that it's kind of nice to have this rather unreserved vicious woman who's running around you know trying to wreck things for the hero and the heroine anyway that's it for today folks i'll see you again in two weeks until then remember music is food for the soul keep listening